Aspiring and professional filmmakers, welcome. Hi, and welcome to Brookdale Newsmakers, your source for what's happening on our campus and in your community. I'm Tim Catafamo, and joining us today is Diane Raver to talk about the 2014 Garden State Film Festival. Thank you so much for joining us today, Diane. Hi, I'm glad to be here, as always. <laughs> now, tell us a little bit about the festival for those who do not know. Give us a brief overview of it. Well, the Garden State Film Festival was born out of a chance encounter between myself and the actor Robert Pastorelli in a grocery store in Seagirt. <laughs> and we thought it, it was was unbelievable that the state of New Jersey didn't have a statewide event celebrating the fact that the film industry was born in the state of New Jersey. Thomas Edison, as you know, yeah. invented the uh, film camera and had the first studio in the state of New Jersey. So we got together and um, 12 years ago uh, started the Garden State Film Festival. We were previously in Asbury Park and this year, as you know, we're moving to Atlantic City and we're so excited about it. I know, it. I heard you were moving to Atlantic City. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, um, now I know that you guys show a variety of shows. Um, maybe just give a brief overview of the different genres that are being played at okay. the film festival. The festival is uh, broken down into screening events and in each screening event, which is about an hour and a half to two hours, there could be any number of films. You'll see usually, usually more than one. We show feature length films, we show shorts, which are films uh, less than an hour long in our particular case. We show short and feature length documentaries, music videos, um, trailers. Um, a variety of different genres um, and of course there's comedies and narratives and all kinds of wonderful things mixed into that as well. And I assume because they're all different types of films they're all different types of length, correct? That's correct, but again each block comes out to about an hour and a half to two hours long and each block the ticket price is still only twelve dollars. Okay, well that should be enticing for a lot of people. I would hope so. Now as any film festival um, that I've heard uh, normally has a couple of big stars come out. Oh, and yes. you were telling me that you have some stars lined we up to come out. We have some stars come out and um, you'll see them at the red carpet um, gala cocktail party which happens Friday evening the um, 4th of April in the Resorts uh, Superstar uh, Theater. And this year being with us are um, uh, as just friends of the festival is Diane Ladd and Ed Asner. As honorees are Laura Dern, who you know from Jurassic Park, and B.B. Newworth, who you know from Jumanji and Cheers. Um, uh, also honored is Scott Neustadter, who wrote 500 Days of Summer and just uh, did um, The Fault in Our Stars with Laura Dern, ironically. And um, I think that's it at the moment. Okay. Now, how about, about how many people are you expecting uh, to show up? Well, last year after the hurricane in Asbury Park, we had 35,000 people. Wow. Now, I don't want you to get scared about that because there's plenty of parking in Atlantic City and um, there's plenty of room in the venues. So we hope you'll all come out and uh, be a part of this history-making uh, event. Are you expecting a number to grow from 35,000? We hoped, we hope that. Yeah, that's our intent. Okay. Now, um, can anybody come to the festival? And you know, and it's Absolutely. open to the public, right? Totally open to the public. We do not um, segregate our VIPs, so you could get pinched by Ed Asner just as easily as anybody <laughs> else. He is known to do that, so do keep on your guard. Um, yeah, just you know, the price of a ticket. Tickets are available on our website, which is gsff.org. Okay, and I, th I think we may have already talked about this, but um, a a anybody can come to the festival. They drive down there. It it's, it's a three-night event. It do you recommend yes. going down there? Th it well, the best way to see the festival and really, really get the most out of it is to get the weekend pass. Again, that's available on our um, website, and that does include the Friday night cocktail party and first screening. Um, it does not include the awards dinner, and we hope that you'll come out for that as well. All right. Well, it sounds great. I may join my, uh, yourself down there in Atlantic City. Well, you'll and, have uh, a wonderful time. Uh, it's sure to be good. Okay. Thank you for joining us. Today's guest was Diane Raver. For more information or to watch us on demand, log on to brookdalecc.edu. I'm Tim Catafano. Thanks for watching.